But we can play, we could certainly do upper extremity, just just learning how compression ultrasonography to make sure that the walls of those veins compress. Why don't we do that? should expect the red flow because it's going that way. That's normal. From the ventricle out towards the aortic outflow tract, which is right over there, you're expecting a blue, right? Um, because it's going away from the probe, right? The flow is going away from the probe. If you were to see blue into the atria, into, uh, specifically, I guess, the left atria in this case, right, that means that blood is flowing back into the atrium, which is, which is what Rieger's actually is. Right. Super important for your suspected uh, infective endocarditis people, right? Just given vegetation that you're curious about, yeah. if it's infecting the bowel. I mean, also, like, anybody short breath right here. I mean, not necessarily that, but all the views from the up top, parasitic along, parasitic short, they all come from that view. So if the parasitic along is not good, the parasitic short is not good, not good either. Why is that? Because it's a window, right? And he found the window. What's the window? Window is that space that you can see the heart, that rib space that you can find in the heart. So once you find that it has a good window like he has right here, if he holds that window and just turn it on that axis, the same axis, and then tilt it a little bit, he's going yeah. to the shark. Yeah, and the way if he's done it right, he can go right back to where he was before, and it will look somewhat more the same, right? And he can make it even better than what I did. Bye. 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 This is just a the the wall. Yeah, yes. This is yeah, yeah. This is just the wall. Okay. I'm not sure. This hyper thing thing might be some kind of artifact. So, um, so what am I looking for here with the mitral? Yeah. So it's you're trying to get an estimate like does the um, left ventricle squeeze concentrically and evenly towards a center point? Same challenge. I would say come come over because your your pressure you're going to be applying is downwards. Mm. So what, however is that is most comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. I would also recommend some part of your hand. So to me, this is almost a two-hand study. So okay. some part of your hand, which is bracing on the abdomen, such right. that when you find what you're looking for, you don't go slip and slide and off. Oh, okay. Right. So really, like a pencil, in your hand. and then the rest, yeah, and the rest of your fingers down. Right. So you're going to start, yep, yeah, start sub xiphoid, sub sub xiphoid. Right, and you want to look for your spine. Had a big lunch. Yeah. So, it could, it could, so it could be contracted, and we may we may see if we may see a little bit of it. So there's different ways you can track, like you're doing lateral things. I'll suggest when you think about the echo. Yeah, you just did it. So your heart, before you even start to scan, think about practically the heart lives diagonally in the left chest. Um, so that kind of can guide your starting point. So, how can you improve this? So, just one finger. Take one finger. So, a very big city in the country. So, he still would be that comparison to what I like weather-wise or size-wise? Weather-wise. It's even warmer. It gets hot. It, gets, it can get real hot. When it does get cool, it lasts a couple of weeks. We get it, we get it. Pretty warm. But um, the weather is better in Texas. I, I, I don't like it. Some people like it. I don't know. Some people like it. But the other thing about Texas is that it's got a good um, medical community environment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
You want to do little movements with this? Once you find it. I did not find it. It's there, right there. Okay. Do you want to jiggle it? Oh no! I'm not ready. Yeah. 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 No. So it's a, it's a shadow. Yeah. yeah. No one sees it. Yeah. Uh, push it. I feel like I'm going lean. <laughs> uh, push it forward. Good. Up. Push forward. Where my tip is, I can't see it. Uh, read, I see it now. I'm in! And then I'm going to advance. I'm just going to the side. It's okay. I'm still in. Once the catheter is in, it doesn't matter. The other thing you can do is your ribs are running like this on this part, right? Exactly. Exactly. So perfect. Perfect. Just like that. It's not going to totally get rid of everything, but it's going to make it look a lot nicer, right? There you go. So now you can get through the whole a lot better. Yeah. Right? It's a lot easier. Especially when you go do that left upper part. That is the hard part. Okay. This thing about putting your knuckles on the bed, eh? All right, remember where your indicator goes. Good. Right? But you gotta twist it this way. This way. Because ribs are running like, like that. So you're gonna get in between. Remember, you wanna get that in there to the right? Find the tip because it might be back wall. Uh, it might be hitting the wall of the back, the posterior wall. But I don't know. I think Texas has like a lot of there's a lot of good things about Texas, so I love it there. What's the cost so, of living? That's my the cost of living is lower compared to New York and yeah. everywhere else. It's lower. better that view. All right, so perfect. You got it in the middle, right? You can give yourself a little bit more depth. Yeah. Lower down into the pelvis, and there's your bladder. And right now you have a bowel. <laughs> you have a bowel, you can see it, peristalsis.